All right, today is a first alert weather day. That means we do have weather to be concerned about. Not all across North Texas, but certainly in parts of North Texas. And the folks who live there want to know what's going on, Annalise. Yeah, and for folks, it's a, it's really going to be south and east of us, Karen. Uh, I should say south and east of the Metroplex that see the biggest impact. So right now we are seeing some widespread development. Of course, we've had ongoing storms in up uh, around Oklahoma all morning long, but we've been seeing this new development that we were expecting as the cold front pushed in. And so that continues to impact locations right along and especially east of the I-35 corridor and really south of I-20, seeing some of the heaviest rain where we've seen some strong storms to fire up. A whole lot of lightning involved here as we put that on. So heavy rain and lightning are just two components, but we do have a couple of severe warnings to show you. And meteorolog meteorologist Brittany Rainey with me this morning. Brittany, we still have two warnings that are out for folks, really for those winds and for that large hail threat as well. That's exactly right. We are getting some reports of about 50 to 60 mile per hour winds with some of these stronger cells. So we'll take you down to some of these severe thunderstorm warnings. We have one for Henderson and then up into the Van Zant area. And it looks like the cell that they issued this severe thunderstorm warning on has now passed into Van Zant County. And that severe thunderstorm warning runs until 11:30 a.m. But you can see that the strongest part of that cell is now continuing to work its way off to the northeast of Tyler. And then we're also looking at some very heavy downpours and a lot of lightning around the Mineola area. So around Terrell into Kaufman County, Henderson County around Gum Barrel City in Athens, you guys are looking at the threat of some small hail. But where we have another severe thunderstorm warning, that's a little bit further down to the southwest on this line. So for Hill County, even back into Bosque and then McClellan, this severe thunderstorm warning runs until 1145 this morning, and this is for the threat of 60 mile per hour winds, and this is going to continue to track off to the north at about 40 miles an hour, but it looks like it's going to stay just south of the Metroplex. So some of these areas that are going to pop up on here are already seeing these strong thunderstorms, but this will continue to head up towards the Mayfield area here in the next couple of minutes, and then we are going to continue to see this line as it works its way off to the northeast into the afternoon hours in a so this really started firing up pretty quickly around 9 a.m. this morning, but you'll notice that around the Metroplex, we're getting that sinking air, so we're not really seeing those storms there. Right, so this is one of those events. We've, we've had several of these now where half the area maybe gets a lot of rain and the other half not so much. So our thinking is that we're not going to see very much in the Metroplex, and if we do, it's going to be eastern sides. Dallas County, a little bit of cell trying to pop up there around DeSoto, it looks like, and then up into Collin County, maybe we get brushed with some of that activity. I think the threat is very, very low that we would see anything in Denton County or in Tarrant County. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on this very closely as we move on from here. But the wind damage threat is of most concern, up to 60, maybe 65 mile an hour winds. We will watch, of course, for some localized flooding concern. Not out of the question that we could see an isolated tornado, especially southeast of the Metroplex. Of course, we do have that tornado watch for those zones until 6 p.m. tonight. So the area, again, with the greatest concern is this area highlighted in orange. This is an enhanced risk, a three out of five on the severe scale. Does include Navarro County, Henderson County, up into Van Zant County. So it's where we're already seeing those severe warnings that Brittany just pointed out. And then you see how much the severe threat diminishes as you get into DFW. This storm activity with our front will all be sliding off to the east today, heading into the southeast. But for us, we do have to watch radar closely for at least the next several several hours, I would say all the way till about mid to late afternoon. Cold front will start working its way through, pushing those storms out to the east. By the time we get into this evening, we are clear. We're seeing some late day sunshine, a little bit of a drier air mass to fill in behind this. It is a Pacific front, so it's not going to be overly strong, but it will cool us down a little bit and dry out that air mass a bit too, but not before allowing for some really heavy rain, especially for folks off to the east, one to three inches inches of rain. So we are talking about that potential for flash flooding locations east of I-35. After we can get into this evening, Karen, it is finally smooth sailing. We'll all have to turn the AC up as we head into the weekend. Temperatures in the 90s.